Hello there, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I am Mike. I'm Rainbow. And now it's time for another edition of Trends and Fads for all you trendy and faddish people out there. So for you this month, we have a cool new video game. <gasps> That almost anyone can play. That's right, and even better, it's from the good people down at Nintendo, one of the greatest gaming companies around. Yeah, and not only that, but to top it all off, this game features one of gaming's most beloved figures, Mario. Mario, that's Doctor Mario. To oh you. yeah, yeah, right. I'm sorry, Doctor Mario, because apparently. Everyone's favorite little plumber has gone off to medical school, and now he's back with a medical degree to keep us healthy. So we'll be reading a short dialogue and then an article all about the newest release from Nintendo. Say it with me, Doctor Mario, Mario World. <laughs> But first, we have to take a quick look at some of the new vocabulary that we'll be using in today's dialogue. Let's go and check that out right now, and then we'll come back to the reading. 今天的文章要聊到一个游戏，叫做《Doctor Mario World》马里奥医生世界，让我想到以前非常受欢迎的游戏《Super Mario》。先来看几个单字，第一个 row row 排或是列是个名词。I like sitting in the last row when I watch movies. I like sitting in the last row when I watch movies. 看电影时，我喜欢坐在最后一排。第二个单词 ring ring 是个名词，除了大家熟悉的 ring 戒指以外，这边是一个圆圈或是环状物。Tonight there's a beautiful ring of light around the moon. Tonight there's a Beautiful ring of light around the moon. 今天晚上月亮的周围有一圈美丽的光环，也就是月晕。第三个单字 full full 充满的是个形容词。Don't trust someone who is full of lies. Don't trust someone who is full of lies. 别相信一个充满谎言的人。最后一个单字 push push。按下，比方说图片或是按钮等，是个动词，在这边不是一般的 push 推哦。好，英文有一个片语叫做 push someone's buttons， 按别人的按钮，就是你明明知道某个人不喜欢一件事，你却刻意要惹对方生气，激怒对方。Jack's brother often pushed his buttons, and they had a difficult relationship. Jack's brother often pushed his buttons, and they had a difficult relationship. Jack 的哥哥常常惹他生气，他们的关系不太好。好了，我们现在看完今天的单字例句，一起回到课文中。Rosa and Luigi are playing Doctor Mario World. What level are you on? I'm on level forty-five now. I just started, so I'm only on level six. Don't worry, you'll get there in no time. Hey, how did you make that row go away? Explanation one. All right. So, the world of Doctor Mario is the title of our article, and as we begin part one, we can see that right at the top there is a sentence which reads, "Rosa and Luigi are playing Doctor Mario World." Right, and it sounds like they are really in the middle of all of the action because Rosa, who is the first one to speak, asks her friend Luigi, "What level are you on?" 在这边加一个补充单词 level 等级，在游戏里面就是关卡。And she tells him, "I'm on level forty-five now." Wow, level forty-five. That sounds like she's a pretty good player. Definitely, I usually get stuck around level ten or eleven or something like that. So good for you, Rosa. And also, let's see what Luigi tells her next. So he says, 
I just started, so I'm only on level six.、Uh. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Luigi sounds a bit like me, but keep going, Luigi. Jayo, only thirty-nine more levels before you catch up to Rosa. Thirty-nine <gasps> levels. But <laughs> Rosa isn't too worried about competing with Luigi. In fact, the next thing she says should give him some encouragement. She tells him. Don't worry, you'll get there in no time. And I can see here that we need to stop for our very first grammar point, so we'll be back to join you in no time. But first, let's go over to Daphne. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 in no time， 意思是迅速地，很快地。In 在这里是在时间之内。No 是形容词，很少的。Time 则是名词，时间，合在一起。In no time 就是时间副词片语，迅速地，很快地。例如 ，Alicia finished her homework in no time. 爱丽西亚一下子就把功课写完了。Okay, so Luigi and Rosa are really into their new Doctor Mario World video game, and it looks like Luigi is hoping to get some advice from Rosa.、Mm. Remember, he's only on level six of the game, or level ten of the game, or a very low level of the game. While she, Rosa, she's on level forty-five. She probably does have some good game tips to share. So he notices how well she is playing, and then Luigi asks her, "Hey, how did you make that row go away?"、Oh. So he's wondering if Rosa knows a special move or command, or maybe there are some special buttons he has to press in the game. He's hoping that she will tell him her secrets. To success, and you know what? Our secret to success is to spend more time with Daphne, so that she can tell us all about the second grammar point of the day. Let's go do that, and then we'll come back for our break. 第二则文法是 make something go away， 意思是让某事物消失。Make 在这里是使役动词使得的意思。三态是 make, made, made。如果要使后方的受词主动做某动作，则该动作要用原形动词来表达。Go away 是动词片语，走开、离开的意思。在这里引申指消失、消除。合在一起 ，make something go away 就是让某事物消失。例如 ，the drug makes the pain go away， 这种药让疼痛消失。Okay, so it's time for a quick break right now, but we'll be back very soon. That's Doctor Mario's special skill. Do you see that ring around his picture? I didn't before, but I do now. What's that for? When the color is full, you can push on the picture to use Doctor Mario's skill. That's a great tip. I can't wait to try it. And welcome back. So Rosa and Luigi are having a great time playing Doctor Mario World, and Rosa is also passing on some playing tips to Luigi. Just before the break, Luigi asked Rosa if she could show him how to make a row go away. So this is one of the basic challenges in the game. 刚才 Mike 老师提到 command 是一个名词，是命令的意思，指示。So press 是按，这是一个动词，按按钮、按键的意思。Mm. And so Rosa tells him, she says, "That's Doctor Mario's special skill." Ooh, a special skill. That sounds very interesting. And Rosa goes on to say. Do you see that ring around his picture? So Luigi looks carefully at the screen. Then he replies, "I didn't before, but I do now." Okay, 在这边再加一个补充单词 skill 技能。每个游戏的人物都有自己特殊的技能，也就是 special skill. Okay, so Rosa can point out something in the game that Luigi had never seen before. That's why it's always useful to get tips from a very experienced gamer like Rosa. 
experienced 有经验的，当然有经验的玩家一起玩才能学到很多的秘诀。Exactly, and now that Luigi sees the special ring, he asks, "What's that for?" And we will have to wait to find out what it's for because right now we need to pass you guys back over to Daphne, who has today's final grammar point. 第三则文法是 "What's something for?" 意思是某事物是做什么用的，是一句疑问句。原本的直述句是 "Something is for" 加名词，某事物是做点点点用途的。这里则用疑问代名词 what 什么开头，后方句子倒装，先说动词 is 是，再说主词 something 某事物，其中 what 和 is 缩写成 what's。What's something for？ 就是某事物是做什么用的。例如 ，What's the app for？ 这个应用程式是做什么用的？ Okay, we're back. Luigi is being shown how to use Doctor Mario's special magic ring in the game. Ow, Doctor Mario World. His friend Rosa is giving him some tips on how to play the game, and so Rosa explains what the ring is and how to use it in the game. She tells Luigi, "When the color is full." You can push on the picture to use Doctor Mario's skill. Ah ha! And if you do this, you will be able to make the colored rose in the game disappear more quickly. How cool! Definitely cool, and also that's a very useful tip.、Mm. That's why, as we reach the end of today's dialogue, Luigi tells her, "That's a great tip." 在这边加一个补充单词 tip。秘诀 and he adds, "I can't wait to try it." So Luigi is off to set a new high score in the game, and we're all done for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for the second part of our trends and fads unit. Yeah, and in part two, we'll be learning more about Doctor Mario World, and we'll also be reading about how it has a lot in common with another very popular game that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. We'll see you then. Bye bye. bye. The world of Doctor Mario. Rosa and Luigi are playing Doctor Mario World. What level are you on? I'm on level forty-five now. I just started, so I'm only on level six. Don't worry, you'll get there in no time. Hey, how did you make that row go away? That's Doctor Mario's special skill. Do you see that ring around his picture? I didn't before, but I do now. What's that for? When the color is full, you can push on the picture to use Doctor Mario's skill. That's a great tip. I can't wait to try it. Hello, everybody. I'm Holly. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Shane. All right. All right. Today, our point is where? It's the bread. 有什么不同 ？OK， <laughs> bread and toast. All right, 第一个 bread. Bread. 第二个 toast. Toast. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Why is this so confusing for people? I don't understand. Oh, because no. Oh, no. Not because in Taiwan we often say, for example, if you go out to eat and you say, "Give me a piece of toast," but actually, if you haven't cooked it, you call it toast. Really? It's a bread with toast. Yes, bread with toast. We also say toast. It's not cooked. It's toast. Yes, 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 it's toast. 对，所以第一，我们先讲 bread 好了。bread 就是我们一般的面包，面包对，就是它已经经过发酵，然后烤了第一次，对不对？嗯、所以比如说你今天去超市，然后你跟人家说，哎，你去超市的时候替我买一条面包回来好吗？这个怎么翻？哎、嗯，如果它只是已经切过的，还是是 bread， a loaf of bread。Yeah， 就是 bread。So, yeah， so can you pick up a loaf of bread for me at the supermarket？、嗯、对，就可以用 bread。这时候虽然是面包，吐司它可能也切片过了， right. 可是它。还没有烤第二次，那 toast 呢？就比如说你已经把它带回家，然后把它放到吐司的那个小烤箱，然后它就叮，然后跳出两片，这叫做 
toast. You have toast. 没错，它就是被 toast 过的。因为我有这个动词是 toast to toast something， 是被烤过的。所以原本是一个动词变名词这样子。对啊，对啊所以我有点奇怪、啊，为什么就是吐司没有烤过的，你就说 this is toast， 我说不是 toast 啊，啊冷冷的，<笑>冷冷软软的。对，对，所以其实主要的差别就是有没有烤过那第二次。对，切片面包要烤第二次才能叫 toast。Simple， simple， not easy peasy 啦。好、yeah. 啦、啊，直接 live action， live action， live action， live action。Hey Shane, do you want some toast? Sure. Here you go. Wait, this is just cold bread. I thought you were going to make me some toast. Huh? What, what do you mean? I'm I'm confused. <laughs> toast is bread that has been toasted or heated up until it's brown. Usually, you use basic sliced bread to make it. Oh, I see. In Taiwan, we call all square sliced bread toast. No wonder. That's why I keep getting cold bread in Taiwan. I think we both learned something. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Um. No. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们一分钟的单元。在这一分钟时间里面，我们要复习四个单词，还会造四个例句。同学们准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。好，第一个单词是指排或是列，像我们座位第几排，第几排就会用到这个字哦，它叫做 row。Row. There are a few empty seats in the third row. 第三排还有几个空位。好，第二单词呢，它可以指戒指，也可以指圆圈、环状的东西，它叫做 ring. Ring. 像我们说 key ring 就是钥匙圈 ，onion ring 就是洋葱圈。例如 ，We ordered French fries, onion rings, and a large coke. 我们点的薯条、洋葱圈还有大杯的可乐。好，第三单字呢叫做充满，充满什么叫做 full？ full 它本身就是形容满满的，那我们可以用 full of something 来表达充满了什么东西。She has a closet full of beautiful clothes。她的衣橱里面有满满都是漂亮的衣服，好羡慕哦。好，第四单字呢，它可以当动词表达按下去，按怎么说？叫 push。Push 像按下按钮，按就按下按钮之类的。Please don't push the button， 请不要按那颗按钮哦。好，太好啦，我们这一分钟之内已经完成任务了，差一点就失败。但不管怎么样，我们还是一起加油，多多练习哦。我们下次见，拜拜。